Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Mr. Squatch and we are back with some Ark Mobile stuff, but we're not going to be playing Ark Mobile today. We're going to be showing you guys how to get an Ark Mobile server. It's been a very, very big question people have been asking me a lot lately. I never made one of these videos a long time ago like I should have, but we're going to go over it today. However, before we get into that, make sure if you're not subscribed to subscribe, smash the like button, and as always, turn on post notifications so you get notified anytime I go live or post a video. And also, there's some merch down below. You can see it if you would like. Please go check out some merch. Pick up some merch. Let me know you got it. Tag me in Discord and show me. Also, hopefully in the future, I can get some more merch. I can get some merch and then sign it and also do some giveaways for some merch. That would be pretty awesome as well. So what I'm going to do today, instead of just using my actual like account I have currently, I'm going to go through the process of making a new account and then what you do to actually get an ARC server. So first of all, if we go here, I'm just on Google. All you got to do is just Google Nit um, Nitrado. Okay. Don't mind the nail salon. Okay. We went and my you know, girlfriend got her nails done. You know, I had to get my cuticles all cut off. You know, they made me bleed chat. They made me bleed. Anyway, just look at Nitrado. Okay. And then the first one will come up is Nitrado.net. Click on that, whatever. I already have one right here. And then you go back, you go to login, register. So that way you can make an account. Um, use your username. I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna use Sasquatch. My other, my other one's my other email. Um, my email, I'm gonna use my Mr. Squatch93 at gmail.com. Mr. Squatch93 at gmail. Dot. Um, all right, so we got our email, email confirmation, uh, email repetition does not match. What did I, what did I mistype? Oh, does it want to have a capital M? It doesn't have to be capital. It's lowercase. Actually, we should probably change this to lowercase just to be sure, because I'm pretty sure my email is lowercase. Okay. Now, as far as a password, um, just, you know, type your password in. I can't remember if it has to have lowercase, uppercase or not. So it should tell us and you say, yes, that you agree. Yes, you confirm that you're 16 years or older. Yes, you've read and accept it. And you hit register. Username already taken. Please choose another one. Okay. So apparently that one's already taken. We'll put that Sasquatch 93. How, how about that one? Awesome. So we're gonna hit never. Um, so that's the wrong one. We're gonna do Sasquatch 93. Oh crap. Put my password in and log in. And it should log you into Nitrado. So this is how you start a Nitrado account, basically. I don't remember. Let me see if you have to. I emailed me, hello, blah, blah. Your new has been created. To finish registration, please click on the following link. So then you have to go to your email, click on the link. I'm doing it on my phone right now. Um, um, allow all. Perfect. Okay. So I am doing this on my computer. You can do the same thing on mobile as well, guys. Go to google play or the ios app store whatever that's called and look up nitrado download the app and then go through the app so what we want to do here is now we have our account right we have zero dollars on our account so what you can do before you put money on your account is if you want a game server go to game server right click on that um this is arc survival pc we want arc survival evolved mobile so you go down here click on mobile and it's the same it's pretty similar on mobile or on if you're doing this on a phone so we chose our game. We're going to hit choose game. Okay. Now this will be six slots, 12 slots, 20 slots, six to hundred. This is custom. So if you want to do a six slot server, whatever we can, we can customize it. We can uh, go to whatever city is closest to you, whether that's Los Angeles, New York, Miami, whether you're over by London, Frankfurt, Moscow, Singapore, Sydney, I think New York city is closest to me. So I usually pick that. You can run a latency test. I don't, you can't do this on mobile though. So you need to do it on here. Let it run this little test real quick. You know, we'll see how this, you know, go, go, we'll see how this works. I'm pretty sure I'm closest to New York city though. Come on, run your test. Oh, okay. I'm actually closer to Los Angeles. Actually the ping's not bad today. Wow. Um, I'm going to pick, uh, we'll just pick Los Angeles, whatever. We're not going to actually rent the server. We'll go next. Okay. This is how many slots you want, you know? So I don't know, say I want a, you know, hundred slot server, 58 bucks, man. 
So another thing also, you see this down here, guys, public server basic or public server, make sure you pick public server basic. There is no difference when it comes to Arc Mobile if you pay for this, like, so let's say, 20 slot server is $14. If I click on public server, it goes up to $20. That's $6 more. And say you want a 50 slot server, 50 bucks. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. 50, okay, that's 50 bucks. Go to public server basic, go back to 50 slots. It's only $31. Look, look, dude, a hundred slot server for the public server basics, $58. If you go to public server and get a hundred slot, it's $89. So always, always, always make sure you pick public server basic, okay? Do not pick public server. There's no difference when it comes to Arc Mobile. And I have asked Natrato that directly. Okay, so say you want to, I'm going to go with 10 slots. Say you want 10 slot server, seven, eight, seven, almost eight bucks for 30 days. That's cheap. We hit next, okay? And then right here is where you would use your PayPal, um, your Visa, MasterCard, whatever you want to pay. You would pay chat and then you would get the server. You would go to your server settings and then you would change all of your settings. Now I'm not going to log into mine because it has the IPs. I don't think there's anything anyone can do. I'm just trying to be safe here, but this is it. Once you get the server, you can go to your server settings. Um, let me see something real quick. We're going to change this. I might be able to, let me go log in and log out of this real quick. Since this is just an account I made. Um, I, I, I want to show you guys what the server settings look like. If, if Natrato will load for me, Natrato might, might not, might not load for me. Um, hello. Log in. Oh man, the issues you have when you're trying to make a video. Okay, let's just completely X out of Chrome. Go back into it. I'm sorry guys, you can't see anything. Um, log in. Hello. Okay, give me, let me, let me figure this out and then we'll be right back so I can show you guys what the actual server things look like and how you adjust your server settings. So we'll be right back in a few seconds. All right, we are back. We're on, this is my, this is my patron server. I'm just, I just logged into it to show you guys. So this is what the, this is what it looks like once you have the server rented and you go to server settings. Um, you have server name, the description, your welcome message, your welcome title. You can enable PVP and dungeons, your discord information or your YouTube, like whatever link you want to put. I put discord that way people get linked to my discord. You have your server server region. You can pick which one you want. I'm in a, obviously your server password, your admin password, primal pass slots. So if you want primal pass slots, so like say you have a 50 slot server, but you want it to have 10 primal pass slots. That way people have primal pass will always get in. It'll always reserve slots for primal pass people. Then you have your server transfer secret. You have difficulty XP multiplier. It goes from 0.5 to four. Man, doing a 0.5 server would be insane. Um, survival mode, you have casual, survivor, hardcore. So mine's on casual. Game rules, PVP, PVX, PVX clock, you know, whatever you want on there. My patrons PVP. Um, then you can change your clock, you know, depending on if you want it every hour, every half hour, every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes, this would be for PVX clock. Um, your clock zone offset. This would be like, you know, if you want to change the offset to be, say you want the zone to be at the top at 12 or whatever you just, yeah, you gotta mess with that. You can dislock crafting station, allow building near caves and obelisks, structure decay, disable auto claim untamed. This is the number of players you can have in your tribe, which is two to 24. Um, weather effects, friendly fire, tribe imprinting, supply drops, tech supply drops, flyer damage debuff. I don't have this on because I don't care about it. Flyer damage debuff and PVE, which would mean if you got hit by a dino, you would get slowed down. It wouldn't matter about players. And these are all of your settings, guys. So we're gonna go over this really quick. So if you want the max platform and raft structure limit, five is the top, zero is the lowest. So I have mine at five because I like building massive stuff on rafts. New player XP. If you want your players to get, say, 50 level, 60 level starting off, you would do this accordingly. You can look up a guide to see how many, you know, what number you should put for what level. 4 million is the max. Is that 4 million? One, two, three. I think it's 4 million. Yeah, yeah. Then you have mating multiplier. So it says time between two pregnancies, smaller value equals more baby. So I have mine at 0.1 because I want more babies, obviously. Baby mature speed, five. I want them to mature the fastest. 
daytime scale the lower the number the longer the higher the number the faster so day times fast night times three which means or, sorry night day times slow night times fast crop speed growth multiplier the more the higher the, the faster the crops grow defecation multiplier i think on this one i can't remember if it's the lower the more poop the, i think the lower it is the more poop the higher the less poop i believe um harvesting multiplier three you want you want to be able to harvest more egg speed hatch egg speed egg hatch speed multiplier sorry five you want it to be the highest um imprinting speed three that means whenever you like in, say an rg you imprint it it takes like one imprint right so you want that to be highest nighttime scale three which means the night's gonna be really fast resource respawn so it's it's the rate at which you know they respawn so lower the faster they respawn um fire damage debuff i just have that at one because it's not turned on that is it guys so this is your general server stuff right here um that is about it i hope this guys helped you all right i hope this little i can't even talk today i hope this helped i know a lot of people have been asking how to make a server if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments below or feel free to hit me up on discord i can help you if i if i need to um that is it though guys i appreciate it thank you for stopping by make sure to subscribe share the videos with your friends take it one day at a time peace out guys